Hey everyone, this is Callum with High Tech Guys on YouTube, where we're hammering out so you don't have to. And today, we got two videos I'm going to be uploading today. The first one is going to be an installation guide on how to install a VAST free antivirus 2015. And the second will be a full on review of the VAST free antivirus 2015. So, without further ado, let's the video. Alright everyone, and we are back. So I'm going to be installing a VAS antivirus free 2015 onto this machine. I'm going to show you each way that you can do your installation, uh, which way that I prefer and which way I may not prefer. Um, but there are multiple ways to do the install, so I want to show you uh, some of the different ways to do it. So the very first way to do the install is to just go out directly to their website. So I'm going to open up Chrome here. And I also have a link in the description down below for all these different um, sites, links, and ways to, to access it. But the first way we're going to do is go straight to their website. So if you go to avast.com, it's going to bring you to the Avast website. Uh, this is Avast 2015. It's here. It's free. Yada yada yada. You go to go to downloads, and it's going to show you the different downloads of where you can do it. Uh, to do the free download, you click here. And this is going to take you to download.com. This is powered by CNET, so it's an official uh, uh, website uh, that you can access. It doesn't have a lot of uh, bad programs or anything like that on here, so you can trust this site. Uh, you click on the dash, uh, download a VAS free antivirus, and it'll start to download for you. Now, this is just an exe to link you to the server, it's not the actual program. So if you click on it, you click yes. You're going to need to have internet connection in order for you to be able to finish the installation. Taking forever to load. Loading. Load. There we go. Okay, so it's up. This is the installation. Uh, it'll say regular installation, customized installation. Really, unless you have um, a different installation base for your programs. Some people do, some people don't. You want to go ahead and keep it on your C drive most of the time. So go ahead and just choose regular installation. Uh, if you click on this, this will make sure that you don't install anything else. Now, down here, they normally do have some use for programs. Most of the time, you'll see Dropbox, uh, Google Chrome, or the Google Toolbar. Uh, honestly, I don't like to install the Toolbar, or any Toolbar, for that matter, onto any program that, that doesn't need it, such as Internet Explorer. Uh, but Google Chrome is a good one to install if you don't already have Chrome. I already do, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, or if you do use Dropbox, you can install Dropbox at the same time. But as of this moment, I'm not using Dropbox, so I just can uncheck that and hit the regular installation. So, right here it's going to give you the uh, end user license agreement. You do want to read the end user license agreement if you uh, don't have the time to do so, you can hit continue. But I do recommend always reading this before you download and install anything so that way you know what you're getting inside your products. Hit continue and it's going to start to install. Uh, now it's going to give you a couple advertisements here and there, but just ignore those for right now. Uh, but it's going to say installing the product. And uh, it takes a few minutes to go through. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and skip to the, to the end of the installation because uh, this part can take a while. But once it gets done installing, then I'll go ahead and show you um, what you can expect once the install ends. And I'm going to show you a different way on how to install it as well. Okay, so we are towards the end of the installation. Uh, once the install or the progress bar basically goes all the way to the end, you'll see that I now have a Avast Free Antivirus icon on my desktop. Uh, it'll ask you if you want to go ahead and install it for a mobile device. This is for Android devices only. It doesn't work for Windows Phone. doesn't work for iOS. Um, really, Android devices are the ones that really need it right now. Um, and yes, you can go ahead and accept and install it. It works great on phones, but we'll talk about that later. Um, but right now, we're just going to focus on the desktop app, so I'm going to go ahead and decline it. And then it takes a second for it to, to actually finish declining and finishing, uh, finalizing. So once this uh, gets done, I'll show you the other installations, other ways on how to actually install it as well. Okay, and we're back. So I'm going to show you the other way to install a VAST. Uh, this is going to be going through uh, the Windows Store uh, using Windows 8 or 8.1 PCs as well as Windows 10 because they still have the same store. Uh, as of right now, this only currently works on the regular store, not the beta store for Windows 10. So anyone else that's running Windows 10 preview like I am, uh, don't go through the beta store, you want to go to the regular store. Um, but basically, was, I know some of you probably don't even know this, uh, if you go to store, or the store icon on uh, your Windows 8 or 8.1 machine, and you open up the application, make it full screen, 
uh, it'll actually allow you to download desktop applications for your desktop as well as pull up apps for the modern UI. Now, if you type in a VAS, for instance, it's going to show you a bunch of different stuff. But if you see here where it says desktop app, that is going to take you to a link to the application where you can download something. Uh, they have a bunch of other different programs on here too. Um, I think Adobe Reader, for instance, is on there. Uh, they have a touch version, but they also have a version for uh, your desktop that you can download and click on as well. Um, if you click on the desktop app, you're going to click on where it says Avast Free Antivirus 2014. This is an older link, so it says 2014, but this is really the same link for 2015. So if you click on this, it'll say get the app from the publisher, and you click on this. And this is going to take you to the direct download for Avast. Now, this is nice because you don't have to go through download.com. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with download.com because it's powered by CNET. Uh, and it's a pretty good website to go to. Uh, but some people don't like to go to third party sites to download their stuff. Some people want it directly from the people who are going to be making the software. In that case, uh, or if you don't have access to download.com, in this case, you can use this to be able to download Avast and get the exact same installation. Uh, as you can see here, once you go down towards the bottom, it says Avast free antivirus setup online.exe. You'll click on run or save and run it from your um, save location back and click on run. And it'll run the installation just as we showed you earlier. So that's pretty much it for this uh, installation guide of Avast Antivirus 2015 for free. Now I'm going to show you some post things that you need to do once you get Avast onto your machine. Uh, how to register it, how to set it up for free access, uh, how to register your name to it. Uh, and also a bunch of other things as well. As well as some of the uh, nice features that you have with Avast and uh, how it's different from other antiviruses as well. And we're going to do this also for a bunch of different antiviruses, so don't, don't worry, we'll do like Persky, uh, Avira, um, uh, Bitdefender, you know, all those antivirus programs out there um, that you may want to use besides the VAS as well. So uh, in that case, thanks for watching guys for this installation guide. Um, if you have any comments, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, feel free to comment at the bottom if you have a certain one or certain favorite, uh, or if you have one that you want us to do or to show you how to do, uh, so that we can show you the different steps and features of it on our next videos. Anyway, thanks again. Have a good one.